Sounds on 29th would like to thank Hold Please Productions for their support. Keep going for Bree. Come on, let her hear it. She's doing a wonderful job, right? It is springtime, ladies and gentlemen, but that does not mean the snow is gone, right? This is Colorado. It can come at any time. And when it's winter, I got to be selective with my apparel. When you look like this, you can't just put on a big old coat and a beanie. All of a sudden, the words probable cause start popping up. <laughs> just trying to stay warm, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I started wearing the white people's coats. Literally, I know why you wear these too, man. They're nice. And they got all kinds of pockets in them. I am carrying everything on me right now, man. I got my wallet. I got my phone. I got my sunglasses. I got all the contents of my wife's purse. You can't tell her. Nothing. <laughs> it's the future. We have made it, right? We're here. We were supposed to disappear a few years ago, weren't we? Yeah. How many of y'all believed that was going to happen? Yeah. Oh, a couple of y'all. I figured after Y2K, nobody would buy into the hype again. You remember that? The computers are going to crash. Maybe the end of the world's here. What did everybody do? They went out and bought water. <laughs> are you thirsty? I don't understand. <laughs> People still have H2O from Y2K to this day. It is ridiculous. <laughs> we made it. The future's here, and I want my hoverboard. I'm not talking about this two-wheel platform where I think I want to go left and I turn left. No, I'm talking about I want to be floating around, okay? Hey, if Biff is going to be president, I want my hoverboard. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I was going to change my name because my name when I was born, it was Richard Anthony Romero. And my mom remarried when I was nine. She changed it to Richard William Bryan. I was going to change it back. And then I found out who the president's going to be. I'm like, no, nah, we're going to ride this Bryan name out for at least four more years. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not trying to build a wall, you know, <laughs> unless he's paying good and up front, because I heard he doesn't like to pay. But if he's paying good up front, <laughs> hey, I got to feed my family, right? <laughs> I won't stop production. My cousins are still digging tunnels. It'll be fine. <laughs> you know, they already have a wall, right, in the Arizona area? Yeah, Mythbusters did a whole show about this, an hour special saying Mexicans are being slung shot over the border. I was like, oh, no, you guys are crazy. Come on, man, my, my relatives aren't being slung shot over the border. And they, they went to the extreme of building a big old catapult, like something you had to pull a permit for, like 30 days to build. We're talking about sneaking, okay, over the, the border. And I thought about it for a minute. I was like, I guess you get enough of us together, man. We can have that built in like 30 minutes or less. Just <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Maybe that's why my relatives are plumping up so much, uh, so they just bounce over the border like gummy bears. <laughs> they hate that joke. <laughs> I don't know what Arizona's so worried about. The Mexicans, it's got to be the overpopulation, right? My grandma had 16 kids. Yeah, that's way too many kids. When I entered that state, I entered, I'm like, what are What's happening? I got pulled over, had my ID stapled to my shirt. Yes, sir, Mr. Richard William Bryan, thank you. You have a lovely state. Can I hear about Arizona? They gave him free trips to Mexico for all the Mexicans. I wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> I have three kids. Thank God it could have me a whole litter by now. You know, My, my oldest is uh, at that age where he got his driver's license. So my wife's been taking him around in the parking lot, driving around in little circles. I was like, dude, you really want to go for a drive? He goes, where are we going? I said, Does it matter? He's like, no, I guess not. He's outside waiting in the parking lot right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got a chauffeur everywhere I go, man. Who needs Uber when you got kids, right? If you're going to have them, utilize them. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I brought my kids out here tonight to, to see this live taping. I usually don't make fun of them in front of their face. Something I take out to do, uh, you know, to the audiences. My wife's like, don't, you can't be out all the time doing stuff. I'm like, lady, if I don't get out of this house, you are going to be my act. Do you understand? I have to go experience other things. Otherwise, it's all going to be making fun of you. That's all. <laughs> uh, I've been uh, trying to teach them how to drive. Tell them, don't be texting while driving. This is a big problem, right? Everybody, we shouldn't be texting while driving. It's just another reason to profile me while I'm driving, though. You don't know what I'm doing on my phone, OK? I could be using the navigation. You know, boom, where would you like to go? I tell her where I want to go. She gives me step-by-step -step instructions on how to get there, right? It's sort of annoying a woman giving you step-by-step -step instructions, but she's good at her job. What do we have in play before this? Does anybody remember? The maps, yes, OK? Come on, if you're not old enough to remember the map, Dora the Explorer explained it well enough. You should know what a map is by now. You don't remember what a map is? It started out a piece of paper that was eight by two. And what you did was you unfolded it. And then you unfolded it. And unfolded it and unfolded it and unfolded it. By the time you got the map open, you couldn't even see the passenger inside the car with you anymore, man. <laughs> but this wasn't illegal. There was no mapping while driving charges back in the day, were there? <laughs> Thank you. 
They say if you want to make it in this industry, you got to get on TV. But that's a load of crap. I've been on Cops three times and I've gone nowhere. <laughs> My name's Rick Bryan. Y'all been fun. Thank you.